Hello everyone, today I'm gonna give you some short words uh, about setting up the Skip Barber racing uh, car Formula 2000, just uh, called Skippy, um, all the time. Yeah, most of the drivers who sit in the Skippy for the first time, they complain that it is very hard to drive and hard to control, and it is hard to control indeed, but um, Especially in the beginning, you can make some um, yeah, some some easy steps to to at least make it uh, easier to control. Maybe you you'll be a little slower uh, at first, but to to learn how to drive it, it's probably better. Um, yeah. So I start now. The first thing you're gonna do is uh, put the push the the, the uh, tire pressure to 19 psi all all the way around the car. Um, yeah, it's just the fact that uh, the Skippy is running best at these uh, uh, pressures. Um, yeah, I've seen fast people on different tracks with uh, maybe 18 psi in 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 the rear tires, but you're probably or you you're not doing anything wrong for sure if you just uh, make it 19 psi all around the car. And uh, that's the first thing you're gonna do. Um, brake bias is 58 percent is a good a good amount to start with um, it's so um, yeah, brake bias of course means um, the more you go to uh, up to 60 or higher that uh, uh, front lock is more possible and uh, um, the the lower you go um, it's more possible that the rear tires uh, lock up uh, when you brake too hard um, so you're gonna just uh, uh, play around with these things if you want to but you can just set it up like on 58 um, percent if I if I do it for uh, make it for for specific uh, specific tracks I, I think the highest uh, amount I had was 61 on I don't know which which track it was and I think the lowest the lowest setting was uh, 56 so as you see um, you don't have to have to to go or to increase or decrease uh, this amount very very much um yeah it's probably when there are it's more like a stop and go course where you have long straights and have to break uh, f from high speed to low speed very often. It's I would recommend just to go uh, lower here in the with the brake uh, brake bias because the more you, uh, the lower you go, the shorter is your brake distance. Um, and higher settings uh, than 58, I would recommend at uh, tracks where you have many corners where you have to brake and steer at the same time um, of course the distance uh, becomes longer when you when you set it for example like 60 percent here but when when you are when you're driving this copy and you are braking into a corner and are steering at the same time it's it's uh, very po very possible that uh, the rear will your rear will just overtake you uh, and you you have a big oversteer moment uh, which will result in a spin very often or if not um yeah you you're going to lose time there because uh, you have to 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 to, uh, to correct and everything to just uh, make the car stable again. A uh, good w good way to avoid this is uh, of course trail braking. But I'm not not gonna talk about driving styles today. Just uh, about setups. So as I said, 58 is fine. Okay, next thing we're gonna do. Um, I think I'm I'm going here talking about the fuel level. Uh, most of the tracks I drove on in my first Skippy season, um, it was uh, for qualifying. Of course, it is enough if you go to the minimum, which is 2.1 here. Uh, even in, in most races, uh, 2.1 was enough. Uh, best thing, uh, best way to find out how much fuel you need for a race is just uh, watch uh, how many laps your race has. For example, if it has has fifty, uh, sorry, uh, twenty-five laps, you 
you go into a practice session, you fill in 2.1 ga gallons, ga gallons, are these gallons, I don't know, uh, of fuel, and you just try to uh, make it uh, 25 laps with it. Um, yeah, if you're still driving and you still have fuel after 50, uh, 25 laps, it's obviously enough. If uh, you don't have, um, or if you run out of fuel uh, before you you finish your twenty uh, twenty fifth lap, yeah, you you're gonna need a three point one for the race. That's just how it works. Yeah. Uh, anti roll bar, I oh, I think I think I always drive eight here. One more time, I've seen I've seen people driving a seven. I think very fast driver, but you. are Definitely not making anything wrong if you always drive eight here. If you go lower, um, uh, I'm f I'm feeling like it, like it. The car is n um, not as stable anymore. Um, I oversteer very much, and f me for myself, I, I I even feel like I just don't have as much grip when I am driving lower settings here than uh, when I drive uh, the here the, the highest possible uh, number, which is 8. So, yeah, just let this on 8. It's not going to cost you any time. And, uh, of course, it makes the car easier to drive, in my opinion. Um, and so the, the, the last thing is <coughs> probably the most ex uh, important thing at the Skippy. I mean, you see, you, you don't have very much uh, uh, options to, to set up your car. And most most of them, like tire pressure, anti-roll anti bar, fuel level. And yeah, th these things are... are yeah, you, you can always let them on, on, on these standard amounts I told just told you. And these uh, uh, are the spring purge offsets. Now, this is... Uh, it includes a lot of things, you know, camber, caster, uh, riding height, and uh, uh, yeah. I'm gonna make a test. You see, if I go higher here, all these numbers on the left um, increase or decrease. So you just have this one, uh, this one option. Um, yeah, the fastest driver will probably tell you that you should uh, um, set these spring purge offsets uh, uh, as m much as possible to the right um, yeah which is true because you can go faster wh when you when you go uh, do it uh, fully to the right but uh, you have to to fight more with your car um, yeah it's definitely easier if you are fully on the left, which is minus four, um, yeah, minus four x one sixteen whatever. Um, I'm feeling like the car has more understeer and overall less less grip than if you do it fully to the right. But uh, it's it's just easier. The the car doesn't it, it doesn't oversteer that much. Uh, it, it it's just a little understeering. Um, but yeah, it's just my opinion that if you have it fully to the left, the car is easier to to control, and you you're not gonna uh, lose lose your rear that often. You're gonna not gonna you're not gonna spin so much as as you did uh, as a beginner when when you drive it fully to the right. Uh, Maybe when you are a beginner, you just try out this setting on whatever track you want, and yeah, you go cl close uh, step by step. If you, if you if you have the track in your in your mind, and yeah, you, you can drive constant laps without any mistakes or spins, then you just go one click to the right, or maybe in the beginning, let's just take you get two clicks to the right and. Uh, you go out on track again uh, with a minus two on uh, le on the left and the right, and you are you uh, 
probably will see that that you're losing your car from time to time. Um, but you, if if you're driving perfectly, yeah, uh, you um, you will be faster with this setting. But of course, I I'm mean, just for example, I'm talking about of about half a second on a one minute lap, maybe, maybe even uh, um, uh, not as much as half a second, l maybe maybe just uh, three tenths or four tenths. So th this doesn't mean that much. Um, and before you start the race, you ju just uh, should find a setup that makes you or makes or makes it possible for you to drive without any mistakes or spins. So maybe you you would be faster when you drive it fully to the right. Let's say you you make it three tenths faster per lap when you uh, drive the setting, but you're spinning every every fourth lap in a twenty five lap race. So you probably lose about yeah 40 seconds or a minute uh, with your spins uh, but you you only win about 8 seconds because of your settings so in the in the end you're uh, s uh, even slower with the setting than than you are with the safe settings yeah that's my advice just start fully to the left with the spring perch offset and make it as much as possible to the right uh, without uh, losing control of your car. That's almost it, so, um, yeah. Not almost, that, that is it, um, yeah. Maybe we see, you, see us on the track, and uh, good luck, everyone. Bye-bye.